Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the weekly crypto training call with Lisa. She's got a few things to share. Lisa, go mad. Enjoy. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, hi, everyone. So grateful that you are here. So I just want to show you some little bit of techniques of um, to make your life easier. I just want to see, can you see the screen? I'm going to share the screen share. Yeah, screen share is on. Me? Okay, so today we're just going to run through a couple of different crypto exchanges um, that was most questions asked this week. So first of all, you know, in South Africa, v uh, Valor or Altcoin Trader or, you know, there's many others like Luno and many others. So I'm going to just quickly show you uh, Valor. It is in South Africa, but they are in Africa and a couple of other countries as well. So I'm logged in now. So if I want to deposit there, I can either choose fiat. Fiat is your normal money. Um, South Africa, it's rand. So you can deposit rand or you can deposit crypto. Now, if I want to um, deposit rand, I can do it via EFT or via a debit or credit card. So if I choose, um, I've got a standard bank um, card number or another bank. So you can link your own bank account here. So there's like the banking details. And then I'll just transfer the money within a day or two. The money will appear in the account. And then from there onwards, I can purchase crypto. So if I want to withdraw funds, you've got um, fiat crypto. And then you can link your own bank account, um, you know, to Valor. And then literally there's some options where you can do it immediately. I know some of my friends do this. And within half an hour, the money appears in the account. Just take into, into account weekends. It's always a little bit more difficult with banks. So keep to banking hours if possible. And then, okay. So if you want to buy crypto, um, check this out. If you register, after you've registered, just do your KYC, make sure that you're, they can, you can see the security, do your KYC. Um, you can choose, you know, different options. And as soon as your KYC is ac accepted, um, and it takes like half an hour, sometimes a little bit longer, uh, you're ready to go. So this is a good option. And from another exchange point of view. Um, the one that is quite often used by a lot of the community is Binance. So I'm just gonna, for the new people, I just wanna show, you know, how to deposit again into Binance, how to convert coins, how to withdraw, how to link your bank accounts, because that is most of the questions that I'm getting. So if I wanna deposit, say, um, no, I don't want to deposit crypto. I want to deposit crypto. So I want to deposit USDT. I'll choose a network. Say if I'm too fast, but I'll choose the Tron network. I will make sure that my address is correct. I'll copy that address. I'll go to one of my wallets. Say I want to go to, where's my trust wallet now? I want to go into my wallet. I want to um, send my coins or paste the address that I've just got into from Binance. And then I'll just put in maximum. I'll continue. I'll confirm it. Use my fingerprint. And then voila, it's out. <laughs> okay, it's not out 100%. I want to show you where you can check if it's out. Just here, you can see there, um, it says completed, but if you press on more details, you'll see where it is currently. It's unconfirmed yet. So it's only five blocks that's been confirmed. So you can see that you have to wait a couple of minutes. Um, let me go out there. So I'll go back to Binance now. In Binance. Oh. 
I always go from a point of view. Uh, when I work with new people, I always say, look at the face at the top. That's where I show you the face. <laughs> um, at the bottom, you'll see at the right hand side, wallets. So the money will come into my wallet. They are a spot wallet. Spot wallet is your normal wallet where your money will appear. Funding is there when I send somebody who has a Binance account um, directly the funds. It will appear in their funding account. So there is an option at Binance currently where I can send, say, Stefan $200 and without any fees, it will land him into his account. So you can see the money just arrived. The 200 can you all see that? The money just came in from Trust Wallet. So now the first thing that I want to do is I want to convert it to say ZAR. Now I'll go home. Do you see that more than the top? I'll press on there. I'll look for trade. Underneath trade is convert. So to be able to draw money to a South African bank, you need to convert any of the crypto to ZAR. So what I'll do now is I will convert USDT and I'll choose ZAR. ZAR. So, and I can put in max or I can put in the amount. So I want to put in $100. $100 from US dollar USDT to ZAR, preview conversion. And then I just say convert. Okay. So it's actually quite a fast action because the, the Conversion rates change every 10 seconds. So if you don't press it fast enough, just go back and just do it again. So now I want to show you where the funds is now. Back home. Back home. So if I go to my wallet, you'll see there is the $103 that I've just converted. So there it is. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to show you how to withdraw funds from Binance to your South African bank account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on withdraw. Ask me crypto or cash. I'll choose cash. I'll choose my ZAR. Now, you've, you've got options. At the moment, I think last night I was looking, the bank transfer EFT was not working. So the best option is to link your bank. So I'll press on the linked payments. I'll press on continue. So I've got two banks linked here. So I can say edit account. It will give me different options. Uh, so can you see their link account via Stitch? So that is the option to link, say, Standard Bank, FNB, APSA, or NetBank, or Time Bank. So if I press their link account via Stitch, you can see there. APSA, FNB, okay, Investec is now available again today. NetBank, Standard Bank, Time Bank. So this this is an easy bank, um, time bank. You can open this account over the internet within five minutes, go and collect the account um, at a at a, uh, at a pick and pay or a jet. It takes five minutes and you literally link it to your internet. Um, and then after that, you link it to your Binance. So it's a fast way um, of linking an account. And from there on, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I've, this one of mine is already linked. So, um, so I'll just go back now. Exit, sorry. So I just want to show you now. I want to do this via link payments. So I'll put in the amount. Now I put in the amount, and the amount that I'm putting is 1892. 
and you cannot put the sense in there. Okay, can you see or see that? So I'll just press continue. I'll confirm that it's right. And then I'll get my phone number verification as well as my email verification. I'll copy this. Just make sure sometimes Binance do change these to around where the email's at the top and the other one is at the bottom. So eight, five, one, six. Okay, and then all I press submit. Okay, so that is as easy as. So it cost me 20 Rand, South African Rand, to do this transfer to a town bank. And um, like last night, I've tested it out, and this morning, 20 minutes past six o'clock, it landed in my bank account. It was quite fast. Is there any questions? Can I maybe ask before I leave Binance? Um, hi, Lisa. Hi. Um, can you hear me? Because I've got yes, my mic. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Um, I just have a question. Um, uh, okay, I'm like I said, I'm still learning the the crypto and the wallets and and everything else. I want to know with regards to withdrawing money from Binance, right? Okay, I'm going to use the C12 as an example. If yeah. I'm in in a position to 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 take money for myself. So yeah. I'm going to re I've got sixty dollars to reinvest. So now I reinvest fifty, I keep ten. But now yeah. for the week I want to take ten dollars out. You understand? Until I get to fifty dollars. Okay. So I'm going to take that, it's gonna go into my Binance account. I yeah. just wanted to understand if my thinking is correct. Um then I take it to my Binance account. I then when it's ready to be now you're breaking away. Sorry, you were breaking away when you're ready to invest it in what? Sorry, like only the fifty dollars, and I reinvest it. Yeah. Okay. When now, when I'm the next day, you reinvest. But now remember, I keep the sixty dollars, right? But I want to keep the ten. So I reinvest the $50 and leave the 10 in Binance. Is that what I do? Yes. So because you I want to, to keep $10 okay, every do, day for okay, myself. Just quickly, okay, do you, do you send your funds from C12 to Binance and from, from Binance back to C12? Or do you send it to Trust okay. Wallet? No, I send it to Binance. Yes. No, so you just leave it in Binance. So you leave it in Binance until you want to withdraw it. And then I do this process that you just explained to us now. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so then I do understand the whole process. Yeah, that's so right. so but just take into account with like say Tom Bank that charge you 20 rands. So if okay. you okay. Just make make just just make sure that it makes sense, you know, to uh, or maybe just wait like a week longer or a couple of days longer until you've got a little bit more um, cost wise, okay. you know. Yeah, but it's okay. that is very I'm easy. The, 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 the cost as well. Okay, okay. I understand. Yeah. Do you have any other questions? Do you struggle with anything? Is there anything I can show you on Binance further? Um. I just wanted to know about addresses. You know, you have this addresses. I was yeah. thinking about it this morning while I was on the hike. I was thinking about this. And okay. Addresses. If I if I send money to another... Uh, okay, let me put it this way. If I need to send money from Binance yeah. to another platform, it okay, means I'm do. withdrawing from Binance, yep. right? That's correct. Okay, so then I press the withdraw button. 
in order I'm gonna to do it for now. and I put in gonna... okay I can share okay. now yeah I can share now um let me see what's gonna do login now um I just want to quickly see if it will take now because we know to log back in okay so I've got some extra funds now in Binance. Let me show you. For example, okay. I'm going to do it slowly. Um, I'm going to show you step by step now. Let's use yeah. C12 for example. So I've got now in, at the moment, I've got $199 in my, you can see it there. That's available yes. in my Binance. Now I've I want to show you step by step. So once the money arrives, when you've brought it into your bonus account, mostly it will say B and Z A R. So now to the the first step will be to convert because you cannot send Z A R from Binance yes. platform to one of the platforms. So I'm just going to now use an example of USDT. You can see it there. So what I'll do the first step for me would be to go home. Um, I've already uh, pre-con put it on here, but on, otherwise you'll go to more. But you can see I've already put my convert there at the top. So yes. try this and convert. Okay. So the first thing that I'll do now, you will choose ZAR. You convert your ZAR to um, you can probably choose between USDT or you can choose between now I'm going to use the option of um, Tron, TRX. The reason why I'm saying Tron is, is a little bit um, less expensive to move around than USDT. Oh. But you can choose USDT, oh. TRC20. You can choose for yourself. This is your money, it's your platform. I'm just now going to choose USDT because my money is now currently in USDT. So I want to do this. I want to transfer my money from USDT to TRX. Then I will put in max. Now I want to maybe just do like $100. Okay. So $100 from USDT now that can be ZAR or from TRX. Okay. So I'll press on preview conversion. Okay. And then I accept it. So my money is now in TRX. Now I want to go and show you how to create an investment. Now this week, I think there was a lot of new people who joined, but people must please read carefully before they send money. Okay, that is one of the things that I picked up. So if I go to my wallet, I go to my TRX. So I want to withdraw TRX. You see, there's about $100. I want to withdraw yes. that and I send it via crypto network. So this is the steps that I will take on Binance. Now, if I go and log into, let's go to C12, for example. And there's many different platforms that you can use. I don't want to recommend anyone, but all I can say is we have fun here. <laughs> okay, let's get on. I'm not the financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes, only for education. So I'm just going to educate you in crypto and show you ways of having fun. So let me go, in. yeah. Let's go into this account. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll open C12, and then what I'll do is I will go and create an investment. So I create investment. Mm -hmm. So now be careful. You've got three options. You've got a Bitcoin option, then you've got a TRC20, a USDT option, and a Tron option, TRX. If you choose the wrong coin, it can be lost. If you do it on exchange, you send a wrong coin to exchange, the money you will not get again. Okay? It's like sending um, to an FNB account, you use the account number of, of a standard okay. bank client, and it, the money when it's sent, when you've done it, like, um, a media transfer with internet banking, if you have not put in the wrong bank account, that money is gone. And the mm -hmm. same with crypto. The, the C12 
guys have been kind to us. They have helped a lot of people who have sent coins to the to the wrong account number. They have helped. But please don't do it. It's a lot of time wastage for everyone. Okay, so I will create an investment in say, to say TRX. I want to invest $100. So Stefan's going to, let's say $99 because I've got a little bit less. So here you can see, if I put in $100, I'm going to receive $11.88 for 12 business days. That includes capital as well as trading profits. So at the end of your 12 business days, your capital will not be available any longer. Your $99 will not be there, but altogether at least $142 plus maybe extra the way that Stefan is helping us and assisting us to, um, to use um, time value of money <laughs> in a, a great way. Okay, so... If I press proceed to payment, you see here, attention, send us Tron TRX. Do not, not use the TTRC20 or your funds may be lost. Can you read? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, why don't people read? <laughs> okay. So now, I don't say it's you. Okay. So I'm just talking to some of us. Close friends, new friends made this little mistake here. Okay, so I'll make sure that I'm copy this address. Can you see I've copied it? So now yes. I'll go to my Binance and I'll just paste it. Paste it. I always check the first two digits or first three. So it's TMR, VQR. And I make sure that I've seen the right one. You see there? Yeah. Okay. Now the amount you copy, that is so easy. You uh, see so the this amount? Is if you see, I paste. If... You see there? Oh, yes. You just copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay. And you choose the Tron network. You choose the Tron network for USDT as well as for TRX. So just make sure that you send the right coin to the right address. That's it. And then all I do is I press withdraw. That's it. You see there? Yeah. But there is a problem. What is the problem? The network fee is one TRX. Do you see that? I see at the bottom, yeah. Yeah. So it is not a problem. <laughs> So the problem for C12, they do adjust up to 3% forward and backward. But Stefan oh. always recommends that we do it correctly. So yeah. um, I can them. either go. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just transfer 1473. And I, then, then it will be right. But I'm just going to be naughty today. And I'm just going to confirm. Okay. I've put on some cream on my hands. No, it doesn't want to verify me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's Dan. You see there? Okay. Is it easy? It, it Yes, it does look easy enough. Yes, if I, I, I'm going to follow the video whenever I need to do something. So yeah. if, I, I, if I need to transfer from Binance, in, oh, not transfer, sorry. If I need to pay from Binance, into any wallet address that I need to, not necessarily C12, but into another wallet. Then that is the process. The same process is going to be done. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let me show you now. Okay, so I've got some still some funds. I've got um, I've got some available funds here. So I've got about a hundred. No, let me just see where my funds is. No, it's or there. I've got about the 99. You can see that I've still got this left. 99. Oh, so, I see so I want to send it. I want to withdraw it. Withdraw it. Okay. Let's have fun. I can send it to you if you've got a Binance account. I can send it via 
my email, phone or ID number. Do you know mm. this? That you can set it up yeah. for Binance Pay. You know how to do that. Pay. Yes, I, I'm, pay. mine is set up, yes, for Binance Pay. Okay, so Binance Pay is a fun way to send money and you set it up here. You see that Binance Pay. So here I can mm -hmm. send money to my husband. I can mm -hmm. send him $99 like this. And I just press continue and it's done. But not today. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. So the other way is now to send this USDT. So I want to withdraw. Withdraw means I want to send it out of my wallet. I send it via crypto network. Now I can go and look for any wallet. I can go look for my wallet, one of my wallets. I've got many, mm -hmm. so let me go and look at this one. Let me see which one needs some money. Let's use this one. Um, in my fund. Let me see in the fund this. I want to send you some money, email. Uh, receive. I get the copy. Did you see what I do? So I go into wallet. I choose the recreate coin. I press on receive. I copy the address there. I go yeah, to my boy now. Doing so fast now. Okay, must I go slower? Okay, let me quickly go back. Okay. Okay, so here is my wallet. You see here? The wallet. ML Fun. So ML Fun, I want to transfer now yes. USDT to ML Fun. So I'll press on the USDT. I choose the same exact same coin. You can see there, USDT, TRC20. If I send USDT on another, on another network, that funds are gone. It's gone. Okay. You need okay, to make sure about the network you are using. Um, so let me do this. I want to receive funds. So I press on receive. You see here? Yes. I can copy this address. And then I can go to Binance and I can physically go and withdraw it here, send via crypto network, or I can paste it here. You see here? Okay, yes. I choose a network. What network? Mm -hmm. Which one do you think? BNB, EOS, Ethereum, Polygon, Solana, Tezos, or Tron? Which one do you think I need to use? Tron. So you were you were on the Tron. Yeah, Tron. Tron. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. So Tron, I choose max, whatever amount I want to choose, then just withdraw. Okay. Is that clear for you? Yes. Yes. It's making sense now. Okay. Let me go back to. I want to show you another technique that I sometimes use if I need coins urgently into my wallet and I, I've i got Binance on my link to me and I've got Trust Wallet. Then I can press, instead of the process that I've now taken, I can press on Receive here. I want to receive some coins. You see there, I've pressed Copy the previous time, but I can say I want to deposit directly from Exchange. Then I can press on that. Do you see that? Oh. Then I can choose Binance. I can press OK. I can put in the amount of coins. Say I want 50 coins, $50. And I can press OK. I can do it in any of my wallets. In mm -hmm. Let me show you here. If I want to bring in quickly BTC, I can do it in BTC. Even if I don't have BTC in my Binance wallet, as long as I've got USDT in my wallet, I can do this. So I can say I want some Bitcoin in here. I don't want some um, USDT. Then I can literally just press deposit from exchange. 
Here we've got two options, coins, base, or Binance. So let's choose Binance. So Binance automatically converted to the coin that I want. So now I need to choose amount of Bitcoin. So you can go and Google yourself to see, say, so 0.0005. So it's not a lot, I say. Um, there are nine. Okay, so then I can just press confirm. And then within a couple of minutes, the money will be in my trust wallet. Okay. Easier okay. as BTC. So this is an easy way if I, if I explain to people they're struggling to get things right, I sometimes do this. Is there a question mm -hmm. here? Any other questions on Binance? Lisa, Philippa, yes. yeah. Um, the Binance Pay. Can you quickly show me, show us how to quickly set that up? Yeah. So Binance Pay. I'll send you afterwards a message how to set it up. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. So I can send it to you afterwards. Um, I've actually just did it for a friend this morning. So let me just quickly see where she was. Okay, I think I've seen it to. Um, I think it was in there. No, I'll, what I'll do is I'll send it to you just afterwards. Okay. 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 Thanks a lot. Yeah. But it's, it's, you go, just go to your uh, Binance. Let's quickly go in there. I just want to show you where you do this. Because literally, you need to go to your little face. You see that at the top? The face? Yep. Yeah. So if it wants to open on my side. <laughs> and then Binance Pay. So you set it up, Binance Pay. So here you'll need to do your verification set up. You see there at the top, do you see that little wheel there at the top, at the right hand yeah. side, little wheel? You press that there and it will give you, it will give you your, um, your you know, to, to set it up. Okay. So you can set like a, Biometrics like a fingerprint, you can do there your payment priority orders, direct debits, all of that you can do okay. there. So then, because uh, you can set up yours for the that you've got a verification number, like a PIN number, six, six yes. digits. And then, when if I want to send money, I can send it to somebody via email or phone number or the Binance Pay ID or the Binance ID. There's four options. How you can send funds. Okay. Now, if I want to send, let me just, for example, say I want to send my friend Trishka. Uh, she's para, okay. There. I want to send Trishka, say $15. I can say, thank you, Trishka, or gift to you. <laughs> gift. Mm. I can say, love, Lisa. See ya. Yeah. If I wanted to find me, I'd do this. And she'd say, why did you do that? <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> let me see. Her. Okay, let me, let me see how long it will take to show, before she finds me. <laughs> Continue. Okay. $15. I just press confirm. And let's see. Done. <laughs> I think she'll want okay. you to do the EP training call. <laughs> <laughs> so let me see. Yeah, I want to show you, Thank you where it lands now. Because otherwise, if you don't know where it lands, you're going to phone me. It didn't arrive. So <laughs> um, so you see, I've been to wallets. It will land in her funding. You see their funding. It will show there that you've got $15. Now she needs to transfer that to a spot wallet before she can handle it again. So she'll just press on transfer from funding to spot. She'll put in USDT, max, and then she'll just press on confirm transfer. Then the money will be in her spot wallet. Okay, okay. That's fun to send your husband Valentine's gifts or Mother's <laughs> Day gifts. I hope they hear me. <laughs> 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 
anyway, so crypto is fun and crypto is easy and crypto is um, freedom for us. I feel it's freedom that I can handle my own finances. I don't need packs and packs of, and this is not advice again, but packs and packs of if I want to go to a bank, I want to put in a deposit in a bank. It will probably take me an hour to two hours just to complete all the documentation and then I get not a lot of interest <laughs> and the trading profits is not so good. So yeah, so crypto is giving us a bit of freedom. I don't say don't invest in banks. Do your own research, your own homework, do your everything self. What I say is crypto is fun. Okay. Anybody else a question on Binance? Anybody else a question on, say, something like C12 or Trust Wallet? The time is almost over, so going, going, gone. <laughs> um, for, okay, let's go into C12. Okay. So C12 is a great fun platform and C12 has been good to us. I've shown you now how to invest there. Now I just want to show you how to withdraw. So if I'll go to withdraw and you can see I cannot withdraw anymore because I've got three already going. So my stats will show me that. Okay, I'll need another account to show you that. Um, but if I go into, say, statistics, one of the questions people ask is, I have withdrawn funds. You can see here I've withdrawn at uh, this morning at 8.38. I've withdrawn Tron, say $109. So for me, it will be 41 hours before it lands in my own account. So if I did it at the wrong time or I decide I want to cancel it, you can cancel it. You can cancel it. Can you see there, this little cross? You press on there, you cancel that withdrawal. I can do it actually and show you how I can press there. Are you about to delete your operation of draw? Are you sure? I can press yes, and then it will just disappear. So, the other thing is, I want to show you again. Some people phone in a panic and say, oh, I have withdrawn and the money is not in there. So, you see there at the left hand side of, of the screen, do you see there? These are little gray blocks. I just want to go back to home screen. You see those blocks at the right hand side. Those blocks are there to help you. And if I press on the gray block, you'll see it opens. It gives you different options. You can go and read in your own time. But the one that is important for us is to put it on view the site in your local town. Because it's not in South Africa, it's another country where they operate from. So you put it on, you put that little green bell on, and then you put in your pin, and then you save your changes. This will help for you to make sure. I know there was a glitch, I think, yesterday. So we picked it up as well. Um, but I'm sure it's fixed now. So if it's in your local town, when you withdraw, you'll see the funds 24 hours later, weekdays, lands in your account. So let me show you something else. If you've by mistake, and please don't do it. If you need to fix your withdrawal, say you have sent it to a wrong address. You've sent TRX to USDT. You will need to go the steps, fix missing deposit or cancelled invoice. The the C12 management have asked us, please use wallets, not exchanges. 
Why? Can anybody ask answer me why you think that wallets is better than exchanges in this situation? Anybody have got an idea? Is it because if a mistake is made that they can trace it easier? Okay, that's good. Another person? Okay, so the one reason why your wallet, a wallet is your own keys. It's your own keys, it's your own coins. Exchanges is supposed to be used as exchanges. You put money in, you withdraw money, you exchange it to different coins. But last year, there was a big exchange, a second largest exchange last year went down. And unfortunately, many, many, many people had some money in on the exchanges, but because it's not the keys, it's not their money. So yeah, they can go through court cases for years and years and years, and they might recover some. But if they had their money stored in their own wallets, like Trust Wallet, like Exodus, like Cold Wallets, there's so many that you can go and choose yourself. That problem would not be there. So exchanges is good, but when you go to bigger money or you start accumulating some coins, please listen. And the other thing is, some of the exchanges takes long to send some coins. It takes sometimes much longer than wallets. And I had a situation once where I had to send some coins. It was Bitcoin. Um, that day, it, I don't know if it was month end or year end or whatever, but it took 48 hours before my coins arrived to the right place. Now, on C12, they only give you four hours. After four hours, your investment um, will not be allocated if it's not in time. So then you will need to go through those processes that I've just showed you of pressing on the orange, go fix the missing deposit, fill in the information that they ask for and do it. Here you can change your wallet addresses, you can see there for Bitcoin, Tron, and for TRX. Please don't put in the wrong wallet addresses in the wrong places. Um, just read. That's what I want to ask. Read. Read. To look again. Double check. And that's as easy as. If I look here, you can see C12, the platform status. And every Friday they give the update. Please read it. Read it. Get educated. And then... As Stephen always say, don't ask stupid questions. Please don't ask stupid questions on platforms, on, on C12 question and answer section. That is for technical um, assistance. And it's becoming bigger and people get removed. You know, C12 do remove people if they, if they ask questions that is already being answered. Go and read the questions and answer sections on C12 in your back office. Here is some... Um, Troubleshooting only. You see there? Troubleshooting only. The chat. Don't <laughs> don't use it to try and pick up somebody else. <laughs> or use pickup lines. <laughs> um, and then there's the reviews that you can go and read. So yeah, so this is just some of the little things I wanted to show you. You can go and look here in the... Uh, if you go to... Just see, uh, you can see there, dog or light. Can you see there? You can now choose between light or dog. See ya? That's fun. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to show you one more thing. Please log out when you when you're all done. 
Uh, let me show you. He's on 45 minutes. Okay. I just want to show you quickly last thing, Stefan, and then I want some questions and answers. You see, they frequently ask questions. You see, yeah. Can you read? There's frequently asked questions. How many accounts can I create? You see here? Everything is here. If you don't get an answer here, then ask in the group. There's investments, networking, withdrawals. Okay, so I'm done. Anybody else that got a question for today? No questions, people. No, no more questions. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Lisa, let me let me done. Just a few uh, comments on on uh, logging into platforms and logging out. People, when you finish with something, log out. While you log in, you're blocking the server. You're adding it to the server volume. Log out when you finish on anything. Trust wallet, Binance, okay, trust wallet, you can't log out. Binance, get, get off the, <clears throat> off the platform. And then communication. If you've got during the week any questions crypto relate, related, these has got crypto groups on Telegram. Make sure you're in the groups. Where you then can ask questions. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I need water. A lot of people ask crypto, solidly crypto related questions that got nothing to do with the specific platform. If you have a crypto related question related to that platform, yes, then we can deal with it. But, uh, don't just post a group uh, a question anywhere just because you can post a question. There's a few people, and I'm going to take them out individually in the groups this week. We just want to see their names on there. If you want a conversation, go coffee shop and go tell people about the different platforms you're working on. All right, that's all from my side. Lisa, do you want to close off? Yes, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for everyone on the Saturday afternoon to be here. And thank you, Stefan. Um, Stefan has been so good to us. And you've been taking us by the hand, showing us how to do things, how to even earn more. And 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 I, all I can say is it has brought so many hope to so many people. And I want to thank you, Stefan. I mean, um, you have been you know, our pillar of strength and and... But I please don't want people to bug Stefan, you know, don't unnecessarily send him messages. Stefan is like, he can't touch ground some days. And, you know, we are there for assistance. And as he said, there is a crypto is fun group where you can ask crypto related questions. And then and every single platform got their own um, question or I've got their own groups. So ask the correct questions. And if you're not 100% sure and we are available, I mean, if you're not sure, please send me a screenshot and I can quickly just say yes, that is right, or no, you know, just do it like this way. Don't feel alone. We are there as a community to help and support and take each other's hands. But go and read the past questions that has been asked and answered before you ask a question. The groups are getting bigger and and um and all I want to say is yeah, so Stefan has now got um, Africa and the rest of the world to look after, and it's not going to get um, it's going to get quieter. So please don't take unnecessary time of him. You know, there's many, and ask your uplines, ask your uplines before you come to Stefan or to me or anybody. You know, let's take hands and let's work together and let's have fun and make some good uh, money. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Stefan. But thank you for everybody that's been on. We'll post uh, as soon as upload is finished on YouTube. Um, make sure that your friends and your people that you invite and your uplines even is in the right groups. All right, you can unmute. Shout bye. bye. And see you bye. on tomorrow's call. Thank you, Stefan. Bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>
Bye. Thank you so much. See you soon.